what you are looking at is the trio two neutrons and one pro one now it is three separate synthesizers but i use it and look at it as one unit occasionally i will just grab one of the neutrons and just use that and just use everything that comes with it but it's way too tempting to add things from the other units and when i just find myself doing that now i just i just now look at it as one synthesizer I do have them individually routed into my Roland VS2480 to record. So even though I play them all at the same time, they are going into their own channel or their own track inside the recorder. That way I can kind of do things like with panning and add effects to the individual sounds. And also I do patch, like sometimes I'll run uh, both of the neutrons into the pro one filter to just kind of give it more of a uniform so it all depends on what i'm trying to do because sometimes i like to just do different stuff especially like let's say the pro one is the main sound and then i use both of the neutrons to kind of add some type of texture and i'll pan one neutron to the right and the other neutron to the left and it really just creates a huge sound This example, I took a LFO and I put it into a multi, and then I sent that multi to oscillator one on neutron one and neutron two oscillator one. So they're both gonna be doing the same thing with just two different neutrons. And then I took the other LFO on neutron two and sent it to a multi, and then did the same thing for both oscillator one and two. So I don't know if you can kind of see it, but they're both um, oscillator ones. Both of them are doing the same thing. And both of the oscillator twos, they're doing the same thing. Now, if I wanted to, I could take an LFO from the Pro One, send that to an attenuator or anything like that, and then send that into the uh, LFO CV. That way it will then control the LFO speed and give a different speed. So if I wanted um, Neutron 2 and I want that one oscillator 2 to modulate different from the other one, then I could just send that LFO from the Pro 1 and they'll be doing two different things. <laughs>
let's be honest here. I have a matriarch that has two different multis, have oscillators, two LFOs, a sequencer, and all that. I can't help myself but to include that in this trio. So I don't just usually just use these three. Sometimes, especially if I'm doing like some ambient stuff and I want a lot of movement. Um, like I said, I just can't help myself but to bring the matriarch into the party, especially mainly as to um, modulate different things, just to have more options and cables everywhere. Having the two neutrons together, you really can just do a whole lot and they don't cost a lot. Now I see another one um, not really far from me for 220 bucks. And yes, it is very tempting to go get it, but I don't need it. Uh, I just tell myself I don't need it because I don't. But it is very tempting because of the price is so great and for what they what they give you. Hmm. Should I replace this uh, Pro One with another Neutron and just build something else with the Pro One, or should I just leave it as it is? But these are just a few examples of how I use these trio the two neutrons and the pro one in my next video i'm gonna talk about the sub harmonicon i've seen several comments just over the time i've had it and even before i had it about how it's not user friendly um you can't really make real music with it you can just maybe do sound designing and just make noise but i'm gonna show you how i use it in the song once you get to know the sub harmonicon, it, it really is a powerful unit. But thanks for watching and look out for that video. Peace out.